Hey guys, it's being out and oh gosh. Now if only I could go back a teeny bit. Now I'm not clipping, aren't I? Whoops. Um Basically, uh you know this part of the Forsaken Outpost. Well basically if you've cleared both the first and the second secrets. I said only the second secret, but it also includes the first one now. If you clear both the first and second ones, this appears behind the book. And this takes you to the desolate garden. Which... Holy crap. Crap. That's kinda mean. Just have the enemy just pop up behind you. Like, boo. Um, where's the next one? Where's the next one? Also, I like how I got them to shoot each other now. Yeah. Never take the first. Oh, occasionally take the first shot. Because whoever hits them first, they'll start attacking them. Anyway, yeah, so. It's a good garden, isn't it? Garden to nurture and protect its measure of. The I forgot the lyric. <laughs> um, pick it up. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Okay, I think I'm good. I should be attacking these guys, but I'm actually, for some odd reason, I think I'm doing pretty well. Not even bothering attacking. Is that eight? Have I pushed all eight? Grab these. Um, by the way, I pretty much, pretty much all the secrets aren't really extra levels. More of such. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna need to shoot these guys. Um, they're not really extra levels, they're more so. That music. Uh, they're just more so ways to get more items and stuff for those who looked for them. It's a, it's a really bit of a vague secret, to be honest. Oh gosh, the water level's getting way too high. Yeah. It's like, oh gosh. He's on me. Other than that, though, that's pretty much this level. There's one in the center as well. I don't, don't really know. Oh. No, I apparently didn't get that one. Now, is there one in the center? Yep, there is. Okay, you know what? Ultimate Carnage the entire thing. Fire a couple of these. And that should be it. Generally. Again, it's not that large of a map because it's kind of small. If I go up here. I can get a wand! I mean, a serpent stuff and the other items over on that side. It's kind of weird. Why Why they give so many of the early items? Uh, early items. So maybe I'm thinking the portal should be in here. Should the portal be in here? Why should the portal be in here? I have no clue. Off a pizza on my desk, I would like to eat it. But I'm recording this for absolutely no reason. Instead, I don't know why. But you know, I'll take a slice of pizza as I look around. Um, yeah, that's not good. Ow. That's not good. <laughs> if they keep spawning. Yeah, thank you. I want to get up here. Hello, Mr. Lizard Man. How are you doing? Lizard man died. And got another firestorm. Because I, I obviously don't have one already. Huh. Press the thing in the middle. Is that all I have to do? Hmm. So I don't know. 
Should there be an exit somewhere? Hey, we forgot to look here. Yeah, it's like a rat verge. That's about it, really. Other than that, though, then you just gotta move on to the next secret, which is the last secret in Hub 5. I'll see you kids then. And I'm back. Now, you may be wondering why are you. Okay. Just cause. Alright. They may be wondering why are you filming from the s from the beginning. Well, this secret you've got to access before you go to any of the other tombs. Yeah, that's another tomb, isn't it? Hold on for a second. Just casually this happens also. I'm only using that just to... Just to get to places. I'm only using kill monsters to get to places. I save on the... Hey, here we are. The Vivarium. Now you have to go here before you even enter any of the other places, otherwise it will close off. Uh, and you can't access it. Now, it's... It's only real purpose is just to give you more items before you start the next place. It's kind of interesting, but... Yeah, you know, we've kind of grown to jump in. Whoa, snap! Whoa, what? Oh, I'm a, I'm a pig. How did I become a pig? Can can I unbecome a pig? Can can. Okay, unbecome a pig. That's not every hot dog. I apparently still have the box. Well, maybe let's not turn into a pig. So yeah, it's it's basically just to get items, and in fact, that's what all the secrets have been, really. Just item grabbing things. Ow. So yeah, like, this is literally what this place is. Grab items. Grab, grab items, just run off. That's what this entire map is. There you go, then you can go up here. You can get the uh, stuff. I've got one of those before, eh? Yeah, I know. Uh. Alright, there you go. And that's about it. That's that's literally all you can do in this place. So yeah, there's a little bit of a... Oh wait, the question is, how do you exit? You must be a pig! Ow, oh, that's not a pig. Which one's the pig one? 
Yeah, that's the big one. There you go. In we go. Oh my goodness. I can't pick any of them up. How do you unpig? Maybe it's just time. Hmm. There you go, it's just time. And you get tons of items. So yeah. There you have it. That's Hexen. For ya. So yeah. I'll see you guys in Hex DD. How do you exit this place? How do you exit the Hex? No, I'm serious. How do you exit this place? I'm guessing you gotta end up up there somehow. How do you... How... How... How do you get up to there? Of all things. Yeah, the question, how do you beat the stage? Oh, I kinda get it. I don't know if that's the legit way of doing it, but I'm doing it. Because, yeah, this long process of getting up. Oh, gosh sake. Prolonged the inevitable that this LP will end. It's been good doing Hexen. Although we've got Hex CD still going, so... Eh. More videos. No, I did not call for you. I didn't call for you. Oh, gosh. I was... You know, based on the distance of that, I, I have the odd feeling I can just do a jump straight there. Oof. It's a tough jump. Come on, come on, come on. Go! Yeah! And that's pretty much the end of the game. Well, that's not the end of the game, I know, but this is just some help before you finish the game. So anyway, I'll see you kids next time. I'll see you guys in Hex DD. See you guys then. Hey guys, it's Bano, and uh, just before I go, I just want to show you guys the other weapons from the other classes. So basically, this is the fighter. Uh, he's got hands, as you can see. For some odd reason, you can barely see them. Also, they kind of clip the aspect ratio a bit. At least they don't stretch. Although, actually, it would probably look a bit more com convincing, wouldn't it? Anyway, so he's got this punch. It's actually a bit stronger than his, um, than, uh, the mage, oh, sorry, the, um, cleric's mace. Because, as you can see, it only takes three guys, to, uh, three punches to get those guys down. Which is pretty impressive. Now, this is the axe. I don't, I, <laughs> there's official names for all of these, and in fact, they're in the game files. I just don't have it all activated and stuff. So, uh, this is the axe. It basically uses one blue mana for every hit, and it will do twice as much damage as one of his punches, so therefore it's four times as much damage as one of the cleric's, um, regular attacks. So this guy should fall in two hits. Yeah. It's, it's really good. Actually, I, I... I just went into this map expecting to have all the weapons, but, uh, with a cheat code, then yeah. It's also pretty good, because one hit takes out that guy. And not because he got hit by those mages. Okay, now this is the hammer thing. You're thinking, okay, what does it do? Well, basically, by, by the way, the first weapon will always use blue mana. The second weapon will always use, always use uh, green mana, and the fourth and the next and the final one would always use all um uh, would use both of them. So anyway, this one is kind of interesting because. By normal, it's just a hammer, okay? You just hit him with a hammer. I don't know how... I don't know... I think it's as strong as just a regular weapon when you're hitting it like that, but... It has a really powerful... Shot. And that's pretty good. Now, there's only one problem. He deflects it. Now... That being said, though, yeah, the shot is extremely powerful. This is why I think the fighter is a very good class, because you don't really need to think that much about him. 
you don't need to be good at being agile and stuff. You just gotta be, you just gotta, you know, be able to take hits and stuff. Also, by the way, um, I I didn't note this, but uh, you see on the interface, this is what the regular interface should be like. I'm, I'll just I'm just cropping it right now, just so the aspect ratio is okay. Um, you see where it's this AC? That's your armor points. You'll see like falcon shields and stuff during the game, which I've picked up. It doesn't appear on this, on the on Zed Doom's alternative HUD. It comes up here. It comes up in the actual game's HUD. So that's why I didn't like. It even says AC on the side there, so I'm assuming that's also stamina, stamina, and something. So I don't know what that is about. But um, yeah. You also see that there's a little thing out ne next to it. That's because the fourth weapon, the last weapon, always has three parts to it. And you need to acquire those three parts. Now, that actually shows you your progress for it. But you will get the third part pretty much by the third hub. So, you know, yeah. Anyway, so this is the next one. Again, it's pretty cool. Actually, that when you try and melee attack it, it does fire what it does. That's what I mean. It's pretty it's pretty cool. Not only is it a pretty spread attack, but it's also good for just melee. I mean dude, it, it literally almost kills that guy. Now granted the other I think the cleric's last weapon is actually the strongest weapon in the game. But like it see, I, I didn't even hit him with all that stuff and it still killed him. Like that that is pretty good. Um and I I used the fighter for my uh, regular for my original playthrough, and apparently this map has all the weapons. So <laughs> yeah, even though just give weapons, boom, you get 135 mana with it. That's very nice of them. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So now I'm gonna show you what the mage does. If we go, what did I say? Map 26. Yeah. And we'll give weapons. Okay, so th now I've been showing off the cleric's weapons throughout the game. Now you can obviously tell that the mage is a slower class, which is kind of weird. Why is the fighter, the bulk, also the fastest, even though he doesn't need to be the fastest? Uh, so anyway, the mage has this... That beam. It deals as much damage as the cleric's mace, so therefore half as much damage as the uh, fighter's hand. The good thing is that it fires over a distance. It's a little bit clunky, actually. It's just a bit like, is it hitting, and is there a delay? There is a there is about a half second delay between when it fires and stuff, that's just the weapon. Uh, then he gets the hands. Now I've never used his other weapons. I've only used his hands, I only tried out his hands. Now I believe this one fires thingos, and then the really cool part is that it freezes them. Now, I remember watching someone going, I can't seem to kill them afterward. Uh, when they're like that, when they're frozen, first of all, note how it does say killed right now. They will automatically die, but you can also shoot them and they'll explode. Now, you can't just keep spamming them with that. That's what that person was trying, so yeah. Um, I can't remember, but they said, like, Hexen, he Hexen for Nintendo 64 is it a bad game. Now that is pretty cool. I don't know what it is. I'm just trying these out for the first time. That looks... Whoa, it even tracks in on him. So I can say... Uh... That guy up there. Wow, that actually killed him. I'm serious. That, that killed him. Lizard man up there. Whoa, that is pretty good. How much... He uses 5 mana, so uh, it's, it's probably kind of powerful. But, dude, that is pretty cool. And now for the ultimate one. Wait, wait, hold on. So if I go ahead... Activate... All of these. Sorry, excuse me. I'm just gonna activate all these switches. This map is actually kind of nice to show off all the weapons. Despite the fact that someone's trying to kill you all the time, but... Okay, so we got a couple of guys. If I try and shoot that guy up there... It goes and targets that guy. Wow, that is, that is pretty cool. Uses a lot of mana, I'll tell you that. Dude, I didn't even hit him directly and he exploded. Now that's pretty cool. So, anyway, yeah, so there's all the weapons. Now, I've never used any of the mage weapons, so that was just my first time trying them out. 
And by the way, every single enemy does have a freezing sprite. It actually does get in their way, which is kind of nice. And they don't unfreeze, despite the fact that it's kind of scary. <laughs> you just go stand around suddenly, oh gosh, frozen guy! But yeah, they die anyway. So anyway, yeah, that's that's all the weapons. Um, other than that, pretty much all the classes get the same kind of stuff. By the way, with the armor thing, I would, uh, there's different types of armor, and uh, depending on your class, you'll get different amounts of it. But generally, there's the same amount for every uh, for every class. So don't worry. Like, there's not more of one type of thing. I think it just reduces damage and stuff. It's a, it's a bit odd because it's not like Doom's armor, you know. Yeah, but anyway, I'll see you guys in Hexen DD. DD, get out of my laboratory. Not that, not that DD, but. We'll see you guys then. Woo!